<laughs> Welcome to an episode of Diddy TV. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, huge shout out to Mr. Mulkey for um, fixing the iPad and making sure I'm on Wi Fi. That really hurts. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Now, make sure you put your name on top, which you should. Don't write for Diddy. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. So here we go. All right. Angela enjoys swimming. Great. Um, at this pace, Angela can swim. That actually feels nice. Uh, 1,700 meters in 40 minutes. So while I'm filming, I'm getting a back massage. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty awesome. Okay. My job is great. Rich people problems. <laughs> now, what is her rate? Well, how many meters could she swim? Um, 1,700. Uh, 1, great. So everybody write 1,700 meters. In me 40 minutes. Meters in, in, in 40 minutes. Good job. 40 minutes. Okay. All right. What is her unit rate? Yes? Her unit rate is 42.5. Okay, so like if you divide these, or if you say, well, we have to divide 40 by 40 to get it to one minute, go straight across, and then we're going to divide 1,700 by 40. You said it's 42.5? Yeah, I can. Please do. This is a world-class TV channel. Okay, 42.5 meters per minute. Great job. But that's 42.5. Great. Thank you for double checking that. All right. Martin is filling a kiddie pool with water. It fills at a rate of one tenth of a gallon per second. That's pretty slow, I think. Mm -hmm. How long will it take to fill one gallon? All right. Well, let's see. What should we multiply by? We want one gallon, and this slow thing only does one tenth per second. How many tenths does it take to make one whole? Ten. ten. Thanks for coming to school today. We're going to multiply this baby by ten. And we're going to multiply this baby by ten. Okay? All right, so one tenth times ten is? One. One. Good. So one gallon per, what is 1 times 10? 10. 10. 10. Excellent. It's 10 seconds. Actually, that is pretty fast. Yeah, 10 seconds. If it'll fill a whole gallon in 10 seconds, okay. It's pretty decent. Okay. The next one is here. If the pool holds 120 gallons of water, how long will it take to fill up? All right, I'm going to make a table. On one side, I'm going to put gallons, and on the other side, I'm going to put time. Okay? All right, well, we just found out one gallon takes 10 seconds. Are you with me? All right, but we want 120. What should I multiply by? One times what would give me 120? 120. Great job! You are on fire today. What is 10 times 120? 1,200. Excellent! Adam! Wow. Oh, okay. I was like, very good. Okay, still very good. All right, so we have 1,200 seconds, but we want to change this into minutes. So let's divide it by how many seconds are in a minute? 60. 60. And what does that give you? 20. 20. Sorry, I got excited. So, 20 minutes is how long this will take. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Now, this chicky poo, Alejandra, wants to go from Michigan to Colorado. That's pretty far. Uh, the speed limit on the highway is 70 miles per hour. Does anybody actually drive the speed limit? No. 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 Kind of. Sometimes. All right. Just checking. All right. 
if Alejandra's trip took 14 hours. That's one long trip, especially to be in a car by yourself. Um, how many miles did she drive? Well, what should we do? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Multiply. Multiply. 70 times 14. Wonderful! And that equals 980. 980. Miles is how long it takes to go from Colorado to Michigan. Alejandra better pack a couple sandwiches yeah, she and coffee. She's going to be hungry. Yeah. Wait, how do you know she said she would go back? Actually, that's kind of like... Because she can, she can drive. She can drive. Okay. Very good.